morning mamas welcome back to my channel today i am sharing my very realistic 6 a.m morning routine with you as a work from home stay at home mom how i set myself up to have a productive day being a mom of three i hope this video inspires you to be your best selves and also just to live your best lives every day so if you are new here, my name is Tammy. I'm a wife, a mother to three beautiful baby girls, and I'm also a stay-at-home, work-from-home mama. I have my own business named Tammy's Touch, where I make custom t-shirts, and I also create and design bracelets. You pretty much name it, and I can create it for you. Creativity is my passion, and I also work as a wellness advocate with doTERRA. I love to create inspirational and motivational, realistic content here for you on my channel as a stay at home work from home mama so if that is the kind of content that you are into go ahead and subscribe to my channel because i promise you will not be disappointed and you're just gonna be living your best lives with me every day y'all in the mornings i like to start my day by getting into the word and just kind of setting the tone for my day and I've started to use this prayer journal and I actually purchased it on Amazon. So I'll go ahead and link it down below for anybody who's in. Today's video is a collaboration with my amazing friend Tiffany Day. She is a work from home, stay at home mama. She's very inspirational and creates amazing motherhood content. She keeps it so real y'all on her channel and has great tips for us as moms. She is also a business owner. She basically does it all. Once you are done here watching my video, head over to her channel, let her know I sent you and leave her an awesome comment on her video. Also, I'll leave all her information down below in my description box. Okay, guys? So now it's time to get ready to work out. <laughs> and you guys can actually see, this is my tumbler here. It says, but first pray. And this is just a reminder for me, you know, when I wake up in the morning, that's how I like to start my day. I'm gonna go ahead and find my workout. I'd love to do these workouts. Uh, walk at home by Leslie um, Samson. Um, but it's usually just walk at home by Leslie and I'm gonna be doing a 20 minute workout today um, I'm doing a one mile walk and I love to do this This is what I've been using throughout my journey to a better and healthy lifestyle And I've lost like I said 50 pounds already and this is something I like to do every day and it's easy It's high impact low intensity So if you're just starting out or if you just want to make sure that you're getting a workout in this is something I would definitely suggest you try because it works great for me So 
once I'm done my workout, usually Elizabeth is still sleeping. On this particular day, um, their dad was home. So on days when their dad's home, I'm able to get a lot more done in the mornings. But usually if he is at work, the kids usually sleep until about 7, 7.30 if I'm lucky. So I, when I wake up at 6, I'm actually able to get a lot done before Elizabeth wakes up. And if the girls do wake up, I usually just, you know, let them watch their iPads and they'll have like a quick snack while mom is getting um, her day started. And this is something I find has been great for them because they literally have just about half an hour's time to just kind of wake up and get ready for the day. It's not every day that I wear makeup. I'm actually treating my skin right now. I've been having really bad breakouts, so I won't be putting on makeup today, but some days I do love to put on a little bit of makeup. It just kind of helps me to get ready and feel, you know, just put together and to get my day started. But I am gonna be putting on my cute little outfit, which you guys will see um, in just a moment. But I just like to get my face and my body clean. And again, this helps me to set the tone for the day that I have, you know, it's like a fresh start. So I love essential oils and I'm sure if you guys are new here and you don't know, I am a wellness advocate and I work with essential oils. I'm literally in love with them. I use them for pretty much everything. If you ask me, <laughs> I use essential oils for it. But the two essential oils that I love to use in the morning are my chair, which just helps me to get into a great mood and my citrus bloom, which smells amazing and these oils really help me to just calm my nerves keep me positive and they smell amazing let me just put that out there they are amazing so these two roller rollers are things i put on right before um you know i really after i shower right in the morning or and sometimes i also put them on right before bed not chair but usually i put on citrus blossom because i absolutely love it but i used a, a few different um blends that i like to create and that's something that i do and you guys are going to see me go over to my diffuser now that i'm showered and i've worked out and i've done my devotion the next thing for me to do is just to get my diffuser going and get some positive aromas in my room. And I will be using Balance, which is great for helping me to stimulate my mind and get me focused because this is the environment that I work in. And then I also use Wild Orange, which is just, um, it helps me to stay awake, energized, and I love this oil. So these are the two I'm using today. I don't use the same oils every day, but I, I like to mix it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse that. Then I'm going to get into the kitchen and I'm going to be making a quick and easy breakfast. By this time, all the kids were up and their dad were awake as well, which was totally fine. Elizabeth was downstairs with me and the girls were upstairs in their room getting ready for the day with their dad. Uh, so at this point, I'm going to be making my egg cups, I like to call them. And this is a super easy recipe. Anybody can make this. You really can't mess this up. So I like to use green onion, turkey um, turkey pepperonis, or you can use any meat you like. You can use ham, you can use sausage, whatever works for you. And you guys see me making a whole lot. And it was actually on um, the long weekend. So I was making a portion for my family. We had some family staying with us. So I was making a larger portion, but this is okay if you actually do make a lot just because they're easy to freeze or easy to store in your fridge and it's an easy breakfast you can pop in the microwave for your kids. I'm a firm believer in quick and easy meals and this is definitely one of my favorites. Thank you. 
So after I've done mixing um, my eggs together with my green onions, I like to put pep pepper. I like to put butter on my pan so that my eggs don't stick to the pan. You can also use um, cupcake holders, but I just I just butter my pan and it works perfectly fine for me and I'm going to show you how I do this pretty much what I do is I fill up each cup halfway I add my pepperoni my turkey pepperoni or my meat and I add some cheese on top and then I go ahead and I add a little bit more egg so that it is covered and this is how I'm going to make every single one of them like it's super important to always give your kids fruits and vegetables in any way that you can so with every meal i either pair anything they have with a fruit or with a vegetable and today they are going to be having fruits with their egg cups amy likes strawberries and blackberries so i'm going to give that to her elizabeth only likes blackberries she's not a big fan of strawberries so she'll be having blackberries with her meal and then ariella doesn't like blackberries and she only likes strawberries so she'll be having strawberries with her meal so you guys are gonna see me just get that ready and pair it with the egg cups this meal my kids love and like i said it's quick and easy i definitely suggest you try it this So for myself personally, I don't eat breakfast in the morning. I usually am intermittent fasting and I eat, I start eating at 12 o'clock. So for me, while the kids are eating, I take this time to um, just clean up the mess that I've made while making their breakfast. And by the time I am done, they usually get finished. So I quickly get to wash up their plate. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Walking on fire. 
trying not to bend my fate I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean You know I don't like it When you're packing your back And turning your back Calling me a liar Calling me a liar Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can't let them go So now I got these voices Now I got these voices in my head But feeling like I'm all alone You don't seem to want me Even though you told me so And baby I wonder if we So usually when my husband is not home I will make my bed if Elizabeth is not um, still sleeping and she comes along with me but if Elizabeth is still sleeping I usually leave her in the bed and yes we are still cold sleeping we are currently working on transitioning her into her crib but because she's teething I'm finding it really hard for her to not want to nurse during the night so you know we're doing what works for us right now and that's completely fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten on my bed because I'm gonna be getting some work done and usually at this time after breakfast what I do is I get the girls settled with an activity of some sort or I get them settled with um, a movie or something that they would like to do so that I have about an hour that I'm able to actually get some work done. <laughs> I like to make sure that I make a schedule for myself so that I know what day I'm working on what specific part of my business. So whether it be with my doTERRA business or whether it be with my um, Tammy's Touch, which is a bracelet. Make, I make bracelets. I make custom t-shirts or prints. I work with different people and I make custom orders. So I go through all the orders that I have to get done for that day to get out. And I make sure that if I haven't done them the night before, then I make sure I get them done early in the morning so that I can get them out in the daytime on a timely manner. And this is kind of what works for me. And it's not perfect. It may seem that way in the video. But I get interrupted tons of times by my kids. You know, I'm a mom first, first and foremost. So I just make it work. You know, I, I get them what they need. I, I make sure I pay attention to them. And I just try to do my best with getting everything done. And I'm super happy on days like today when my husband is home. I'm actually able to be so much more productive. But this is what works for me. And it's just important that you find what works for you. But I want it my, my, my way. If you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much i really love and appreciate each and every one of you that have stuck around and spent the day with me i hope you enjoyed this video if you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now because on my channel i stay living my best life every day and i'd love to give you motivation on how to be an awesome wife mom and boss homemaker guys so go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know if you're new or let me know where you're from or just say hey girl hey because i love to make new connections and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel thank you guys so much and i'll see you in the next video bye loves